Welcome to this blog post on how to set assignments in Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft's education offering has been missing one thing uh, recently and that is the ability to set assignments to students in the class. Now they did trial Microsoft Classroom which disappeared, it was replaced by Teams and now Teams is at that level that it can compete with what Microsoft Classroom could previously provide. So in today's session I'm going to go through how to set an assignment using Microsoft Teams and how to review the student submissions. So I'm going to begin inside Microsoft Teams. I've got a class here um, and inside Microsoft Teams we've got a conversation tab which can be turned on or off for your students. We've got files tab where we can store some information inside a SharePoint library. We've got class notebook, a great powerful um, learning tool which we went over in a previous blog post which I'll put a link on the site to and we've got the assignment tab and that's what we're going to focus on today we're going to focus on creating assignments inside Microsoft Teams so I'm going to create a new assignment here so to do that I'm going to go to the new assignment button if you do, if you wanted to switch this from a sort of a, a horizontal to a vertical timeline we can do that using the button here I'll just change it to, to a different timeline view. Uh, I prefer this view, it gives a nice view of the week and what, what lessons you've got that week. So I'm going to create a new assignment. Um, this is an English class, so I'm going to make an assignment about of my sand man. Essay and worksheet. So this is a title I'm filling in here. Uh, a great feature that's been added to the assignment functionality is the ability to assign it to more than one team. So if you've got another class you wanted to assign it to, you can assign it to multiple classes at the top of the page here. So my instructions to this group is going to be write an essay and fill in the attached worksheet. So I've got two options here. I can attach reference materials, which means the student can see the document they can't really edit it and send it back to me, it's just there for their reference. And then I, I've also got the option to specify what students will turn in. And if I select this second option, then the student can um, edit their own copy of the document and send it back as part of their submission. So I'm going to attach some reference materials. So I've got a choice of uploading a file from my OneDrive, my own personal storage, a link to a website, um, a class notebook page so I could put a link to a class notebook area that I uh, created and I've done a, another blog post on that which I'll link to um, on this post as well and you can also upload a file from your own machine so I'm going to go into my OneDrive into of my cement lesson, lessons and I've got this uh, Lenny character sheet so that's going to attach it to as a reference material I'm also going to specify a document for them to turn in. So I've got a worksheet that, th that I want the student to complete and turn in. So I'm going to specify what the students can turn in. Again, from my OneDrive, I've got my Of Mice and Men lessons, and I can select my Of Mice and Men worksheet. So that's going to upload and attach that as well. So I've attached the uh, assignment. I've created the assignment for this group. If I had more than one Year 11 group, then I might also assign it to the other group as well. So I can set a due date and time. So this is when the assignment will, needs to be completed by, um, otherwise it will be late. So I'm going to set uh, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. just before my lesson. And I'm going to allow late turn in, which means people can submit it, but it will be marked as late. And I'm also going to grade it. So I'm going to grade it out of 100 points. So once I've done that, I can either save it as a draft and carry on working on this assignment later or I can assign it to the group and as soon as you press assign then the students are going to get a notification on their Teams desktop app and on their mobile apps as well. So if students are using the mobile apps that's fantastic they'll get that instant notification and that engagement with the student. So I'm going to assign this to my class now. It will appear in my timeline for next week and I can see that so far no pupils have or students have submitted work back to me in regards to this assignment. Mm -hmm. 
I can see assignments, notifications popped up there as well. So I can then review the student work. Once they've submitted it, once they've returned some work back to me, I can go and mark it. So to do that, I click on review. This again will show me the timeline. It's selected on the one, uh, this is the only one this week that I can mark, that's uh, due in next week. So I've got a list of everybody in, the, in that group. This is just a demonstration, so there's only two pupils in this class. I can see the student work. So this is actually that mark, uh, this, the worksheet that I sent out to the students. They might have uh, completed it and sent it back to me. I can see that they haven't turned it in yet because there isn't a, a date on there. And I've got an option to give them some feedback and also grade them some points on here. So I'm just going to complete it as a student. So we've got a bit of data in here and then we'll come back to this panel. So this is a view of the assignment logged in as a student on my mobile app. I've just pressed hand in just to mark it as completed, but I could go in here and I could complete those worksheets and uh, send some other resources back to the teacher to be marked. And I also see my marks in here um, and any comments that the teachers made on my particular piece of work. So it's a really good communication tool. Students aren't going to be using desktop devices in 2018. They're going to be using tablets and mobile devices. So this is a great way to engage with those students. Okay, so I've went and I've uh, submitted some work back as Susan. And we can see now, she's now got a date turned in here. So I can see the date and the time that she submitted her response. We can click on the document, see the work that she's returned back to us. And we can also give the students some feedback. Well done, Susan. And optionally, you can give them a grade. So I'm gonna give Su Susan 80%. I'm gonna give Alexis 70%. Uh, and when I want to post this result back to the students, I press post all and they will get a notification on their phone, on their device, with the, the grade that I've posted and also the comment that I've put on their, their piece of work. As a teacher, I've got an export to Excel button on this assignment page. And what that does is it exports my mark sheet to Excel, but not just for this assignment, for all the assignments that I've ever set to this group. So if I press export to Excel, that will create me a grade book. I can see these are all the grades for the students and they're already in a Excel spreadsheet. So I can copy and paste this into my official mark box. Maybe this is your official mark book. And also it's gonna make it much easier for importing this data back into your MIS system. You've already got it in electronic form here. So I hope that's given you a quick idea of how easy it is to set assignments using Teams and also to access them on mobile devices so you increase your engagement with students. At Cloud Design Box, we can automate team site creation and also student folders from MIS data. We have an easy to use dashboard which sits inside your SharePoint intranet where you can navigate to individual classes, teams, SharePoint resources and class notebooks. For more information you can visit our website at www.cloud designbox.co.uk